My name is Kenny, and I am the host of the Transition Talks, talking our way to our first job podcast, where we interview adults with disabilities who are working in jobs that we want to learn about. Through these conversations, we aim to inspire and empower young adults with disabilities to pursue their own career goals and aspirations. We will be talking to a diverse range of professionals, from teachers to entrepreneurs to artists to scientists, to learn about the expe- to learn about their experiences and the challenges they have overcome to succeed in their fields. So sit back, relax, and join us on our journey to discover the possibilities for people with disabilities in the workforce. Join us as Anthony, a young adult participating in a community transition program, interviews Hannah, an elementary teacher who teaches autistic students, to learn about Hannah's early work experience, how she asks for support, and hear the encouraging words she gives to Anthony. Hi, yo, and welcome to our podcast, Transition Talk. Talking our way to our first job, my name is Anthony, and someday I want to be a kindergarten teacher. Uh, Today, we are interviewing Hannah, a teacher at Sunset Hill Elementary here in Lawrence. Hi, Hannah. How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great uh, so far. Let's get started. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your current job? So my name is Hannah and I do work at Sunset Hill. I'm currently working as an autism teacher for uh, about five children and all of them are nonverbal and use devices for communication. Right now, I have kids in the first, second, third, and fourth grade. Ooh. Okay. What was your first paid job? My first paid job, I was a dishwasher at a senior center. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How did it help prepare? you for your current role? It helped me prepare for my current role because it made me not quit things even when they were hard to do. Right, okay. How did you deal with any nervousness about your first job? I had a lot of nervousness and I still have nervousness even at this job. Sometimes they get nervous when I have to talk to parents or coworkers or when I have to do a lesson. And it can be really hard. But what I do is I just take a really big deep breath and I remind myself that most people are nice and we just have to remember that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. How did you ask for any supports for your first job or any job after? Well, when I have to ask for support, I I just, I always bring a notebook and I always make sure that I have all of my questions written down before I ask somebody. Because sometimes I forget to ask things. And so by writing them down, it helps me remember them. And then when I do get nervous for asking for help, I still can remember what I'm there for. Okay. All right. What challenges have you faced as a person with a disability in the workplace? And how have you overcome them? college, I was diagnosed with uh, moderate autism, and it did explain a lot of things that I've always had trouble with in my whole life. Um, And I decided that I wanted to work with people who, like me, weren't very good at school and maybe didn't learn in the same way like I did. And so I decided to go into teaching 
children with autism. And sometimes they get really overwhelmed and overstimulated at work because they can get very loud in my classroom. And there's a lot going on a lot of the time. <laughs> but um, so sometimes I have to go to a quiet area and take a few deep breaths. Or sometimes I even use earplugs that help mute my classroom for me. I also like to work with the lights down low, and I try to make sure that I can get breaks in the day if I can. All righty. Now I want to ask you some questions about your current job because it's similar, similar to what I want to do. Number one, what's the best part of being a teacher? The best part of being a teacher is that I get to come in every morning and see how excited everybody is to come to school. So when I wait in the hallways for my kids to come down, all these other kids are happy and excited to come to school, and then my kids are too. Okay. How many hours a week do you work? I work a lot of hours a week. I, I, I do work during the school day, which isn't too long because it's only from 8 a.m. to about 3.45. But then I do a lot of work on the weekends, too, because I like to plan new and different things for my students to do. All righty. What do you would do when the kids don't listen to you? Well, sometimes I get really upset that they don't listen to me. But what I do is I just go up to them and I look them in the face and I say, did you hear what I said? And that way, they I can make sure that they can hear me and are listening to me. <laughs> okay. How long do you get their attention? I get their attention normally by saying their names, but sometimes if they're really into what they're doing, I may have to tap them on the shoulder. Okay. All right. How many kids do you have in your classroom? I have five kids right now. Okay. What kind of activities do you do with the kids? So we do math, reading, science, and social studies. And then we also do um, dealing with emotions and social situations on how to make friends and how to be helpful in the classroom and the school. So we cover a lot of things, but we also have time to play games and do crafts too. That's cool. Okay. How old are uh, the students in your class? So I have one student who's in first grade, one that's in second grade, two in third, and one in fourth. Okay. What does a typical day look like? So first we have our morning meeting in the morning where we go over everything that's going to happen for that day, what our specials are, what the weather is like, just kind of start the day with breakfast and a morning meeting. And then after that, everybody works independently. We do our math and our science and social studies. And then we do reading after lunch and have some quiet time. And then the end of the day, we normally go and play outside. All righty. What is your least favorite part of your job? The least favorite part of the job is probably when I have to clean my room a lot. When, it, when there's <laughs> flu season and things. I don't like cleaning things, so it's for me. <laughs> I can say that. Okay. How many paras are in your classroom and how do they help you? My paras help me a ton. They help me by helping to teach lessons, 
working with kids. They read books to them and take them on walks when they need to get out of the classroom. They also take them to specials and to other classrooms when they need to go there. I have three parents right now. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What advice can you give me to help me learn how to be a kindergarten teacher? My advice would be to be yourself because the things that make you different are what makes you a good teacher. So sometimes if you think differently than other people do, chances are there's other kids that think differently too. All righty. Okay, we are finished with the serious questions. Before we finish, I want to ask you some fun rapid fire questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. What is your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon is SpongeBob, probably. <laughs> I mean, mine too. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show? Um, right now, I've been watching Abbott Elementary. Oh, that's cool. What is your favorite subject to teach in school? Um, probably science. I like science. That's cool. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? I would want to fly because then I could just fly anywhere and go on vacation all the time. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I would go to Brazil because I've always wanted to see the rainforest. No, that's cool. What is your favorite pet? Uh, I have two hedgehogs right now. And I, I really love those guys. I love my hedgehogs. <laughs> that's good. What is your favorite meal? My favorite meal is Indian food. Oh, that's cool. And thank you so much for talking uh, the time uh, to talk uh, to me. Do you have uh, anything else you would like to say before we sign off? I just want to say good luck, and I hope to see you at Sunset Hill one day teaching. All righty. Okay, thanks. Uh, and have a great day. You too. Bye. See ya. <laughs>